Hello scientists, welcome to the second part of the Draw Double Helix DNA series. And in this video, I will show you how to draw the DNA in Inkscape, uh, which is the free software that I recommended in my previous video. And so uh, without further ado, let's start to draw Balmet in Inkscape. This will be the DNA that we will draw in Inkscape. And you can see we have a grid on the canvas already. Uh, I'll switch it off and I can also switch it on again by a shortcut pound. If you want to call it out from the window and you can go to view and then uh, here you'll see page grid. Click on it then you can call out the grid. So once our grid is ready we can start to draw the parallelogram. Let's grab our draw baser curves and straight lines and um, I'll zoom in so we can work on it uh, more in detail. Okay, you can start anywhere as long as it is on the intersection of the grid and then let's move six grids down and then four grids to the left. Then we will uh, move two grids to the right so the width of the parallelogram will be two grids and let's close it up and you'll get the uh, basic shape for our helix then we need to round these corners so let's come here to grab our edit paths by knots and once you click it you see the anchor points shows up let's select one anchor point and hold shift and drag it then you will drag out the handle so if you drag it to the left then the hand it will be the left handle and if you drag it to the right it will be the right handle and in this case we need the right handle and once it's out move it all the way here and place it on the uh, the left anchor point so the handle will be two grids unit long. That is very important and we will do the same thing here but in a different direction. So the handle is also the right handle but it is going towards the right and two units away from the anchor point. And let's do uh, the rest like so and then this one so the rule is the handles on the top needs to go to the left and the handles on the bottom needs to go to the right and uh, the length of the handles needs to be two grids. Then we're ready to fill in the color. I will pick... Uh... So if you slide it down here you'll see your swatches and I will select a blue over here. And I'll copy and paste the unit then come here on top to reflect it horizontally. Then I will give it a lighter color. And if you want to adjust the outline color, you can come here and grab one uh, of the gray here and hold shift and click on the color. Then it will be uh, the color of the stroke. Okay, let's group them and we can start duplicating it and build up our double helix. Uh, I will align them. Let me zoom in so I can place them better. There, good. Okay, and that's one strand, and I will duplicate it so we will have a double strand. The last thing we need to do is we need to put all the light strands to the front and 
and let's uh, do that by first uh, ungroup all of them. Let's do that again. And let's select all the light units. And here move them all to the front. Okay, I need to do these two to the front. Now put this one over here. And I can turn off the grid. So then you'll see your double helix DNA uh, here in Inkscape and with the very simple technique by using grid. So I hope this can help you with your graphical abstract and uh, for the people who uh, like to use Inkscape. Uh, welcome to comment below to let me know uh, what I can help you with, with the tutorials, and uh, you can subscribe to Mat to follow up with the latest videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.